Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a not too difficult gel polish design using Madame Glam colors, nail sugar glitters, and some tips from somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know where the tips are from. So the colors I'm using from Madame Glam are Pure Serenity, which is their clear, bu clear builder. Um, Kiss or Lie, which is their, this, oh, it's the most amazing colour, and Perfect White. I'm using, the tips are there, the stand is from Beauty Big Bang, I think. Grape Soda, this is from Nail Sugar. So this has got more finer chunks in, so this is going to be easier to work with on gel polish. And the Eskimo Kiss Micro Mylar, which I absolutely love look at those oh my gosh i love them so much and the flamingo foliage i have cut off the e so it is spelt right but there's an e missing so in this you get little palm trees and little flamingos i think this is brilliant love it love it love it love it love it so this is the kiss or lie gel polish and we're going to apply two coats of this to three of the nails look at this color isn't that the most beautiful color it glides on so nicely and it's so pigmented this gel polish this one is just I love it so much so two coats of that cure in the lamp for 30 seconds for each coat then I'm gonna go in with the white I'm gonna apply this to two of the tips and again we're gonna do two layers and each layer is cured for 30 seconds I think I had a hair or something I was trying to get off so I've got a little stone resin palette thing here. I'm going to take the Pure Serenity Clear Builder Gel and I'm going to put quite a substantial blob on this palette. And then into that, I'm going to just scrape some of the grape soda glitter this, this glitter and I'm just going to use my spatula to dig some out and then I'm just going to mix it up and then that's going to be easier for us to well I'm hoping I found it a lot easier actually to apply to the nail I'm just using a, a gel brush and this one of these this nail actually not one of these nails it is actually this nail I am going to cover the whole nail but the reason I chose the Kiss or Lie colour is because it's quite similar to that um, that more hot pink glitter through this mix. So I thought it didn't didn't matter if there were like gaps in the glitter. I really really like this mix. Okay, there we go. So once I'm happy, I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to do the same on another one of these pinky, pinky nails, raspberry-ish colour. I don't know what you want to call it. But this is just going to be more of a glitter fade. So we're not going to cover the whole nail. We're just going to go, we're just going to go a little, a little bit of the way down the nail. Okay, and then again, that's gonna cure for 60 seconds. On the white, I am just gonna apply some of these micro mylars to the tacky layer. And I'm just using a fluffy brush just to dab them into that tacky layer. If you want to make sure, like if you want this super covered, you can go over the white with a layer of base coat and then cure it. And then you will have a an even more tacky layer. So there we go, I love that so much. Um, and then I'm gonna take one of the palm trees and one of the flamingos and what I found was best with these if you're using it with gel polish is if you try and curve it with your just sort of squeeze it between your fingers and don't squash it because you don't want a line through the through the palm tree if that makes sense just start to curl it between your fingers and it gives it a nice curve I hope I'm making sense 
there we go you see look that is going to fit really snugly around that nail now but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some base coat on first and then pop that onto that base coat and then i'm going to cure that in the lamp when i've got it where i want it and you can see now it lays really flat to the nail so i'm just going to flash cure that then i'm going to put another little bit of base coat and i'm going to do the same with a peak with the i was going to call it a peacock and um, the same with the flamingo just curve it between your finger just so that it's got a nice curve and it fits snugly to that nail and then place it where you want it i thought it looked quite nice like that there we go um so again i'm going to just sort of flash cure that quick and this is what it's it's looking like so far so with these ones, um, you can go ahead and like apply two coats of top coat. I'm going to go in with a layer of Builder Gel. And I'm going to cover the whole nail. And then I'll, I'll kind of just leave it to settle. You can turn the nail upside down so that the gel self levels a bit more like that and then I will cure that for 60 seconds and so this is right this is where we're at so far I'm trying to catch up with myself uh, these will have a tacky layer on so I'm just going to take some isopropyl alcohol and just wipe over the surface of the nail there are going to be some lumps and bumps in it so the reason we are taking off the sticky shears is so that we can just file it smooth you don't want to over file it because you will file into that glitter but just make sure you get some of the bumps out. If you are not confident with a file, you can use a buffer. But I'm just gonna do this until it feels relatively smooth. Then I'm gonna go over with my buffing block. And I'm gonna do that to the other pink nail with glitter on and the flamingo nail. I'm gonna do that on that as well. And then I'll top coat them in a minute. So I'm going to be using Madame Glam's non-white top gel. So we've got one pink nail there that's just a plain coloured nail. And we've got a plain white one as well. I had bits of fluff on my on my lymph-free, on my supposed to be lymph-free, on my wipes. And it stuck to this tacky layer, so I ended up having to wipe it. I really, really love these micro mylars. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. I love this nail okay and then I'm gonna go over the other three nails a bit more fluff in there <laughs> okay and then I will cure these for 30 seconds and I'll give you a close-up here we go so I hope you like these um, if you did, please leave me a like. I love the flamingos. I love that so much. And um, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I don't know why I've done that. <laughs> and I will see you lovely lot tomorrow. Don't forget there are discount codes in the description box. And yeah, you can save yourself some moolah. Okay, see you later.